Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Vinay before you. If you are new to this channel, then welcome to my channel. And if you are old subscriber or if you already have subscribed to it and if you are watching this video now, then welcome back to my channel. And uh, thanks for thanks a lot for subscribe to, subscribing to this channel and uh, for new viewers as well. Uh, my wholehearted welcome to this channel and this is I suggest you that this is the right platform to learn everything and as a friend I am sharing to you uh, what I learned just I am sharing with you people and I am imparting with you people so if you find this video creative and innovative then do subscribe to it if you haven't done it yet okay so means if you will be subscribed then you will be beneficial like I means like that I assure you that that I will be bringing these like these like videos these like innovative and creative and incentive videos ahead as well so I think now I have to stop here I have to stop my introduction and this is the time this is the turn to explain about the topic okay in this video we will be discussing about the migration and push and pull factors regarding the migration and what is migration push and pull factors characteristics types consequences and causes of migration and this topic which is specially regarded to the subject of geography and this video is specially regarded to the geography subject as well and if you go and find or if you go and check the um, playlist of mine in the youtube channel uh, that uh, that that playlist titled as the geography related videos and if you go and check there you will find those videos you can enjoy by listening to those or you can enjoy by watching those watching those videos and this is not by not not for the publicity just for what i have learned just i am sharing with you people and if you find that um, this video means i am very little to understand all these topics then you can go and check in google as well if you find that everything is right then only you can subscribe to it okay so now i have to stop the introduction because that is becoming very lengthy now i have to start now i must start the topic okay let us let's get started now migration push and pull factors what is migration migration is nothing but and actually i have to tell before starting the topic that i am not excel in the profession of teaching but yet i am teaching you just being as a friend of you okay now let's come to the mind come to the point migration push and pull factors what is migration here types okay types we will be discussing ahead no, but we have to understand that at the very first what is meant by migration types we will be understanding ahead okay we will be understanding um, later phases in the later phases in the upcoming phases now migration is nothing but with the migration there is another word okay with the migration there is another word that is m migration at the very first we have to understand but m migration that is not given in the that they haven't given in the geography subject or in this topic they haven't given but just for the knowledge purpose i am giving you the definition of m migration as well and i will differentiate between both of those migration and m migration at the very first which is in our syllabus we have to understand at the very first that one that is the migration migration is nothing but moving the people or population from one place to another that we call the migration that but that is not the migration which a person daily moves to the city for working and come back to the home that is not the migration because migration is nothing but settling down entirely with the domestic things by taking his all domestic things moving from one place to another and settling down in the another cities just for working there and living that old place that we call with the with the new residents that we call the migration okay i think you got clarif clarification about the migration and that is not the migration which he goes daily for working in the another cities okay and what is m migration comparatively m migration is a different word m migration is the thing but that is also related to the um, moving from one place to another but that is moving abroad m migration is nothing but moving abroad and settling down there for um, more opportunities okay in our later phases we will be understanding that what are the pull and push factors what made the people to move from one place to another okay m migration you, you have to keep in our that keep in our mind that what is meant by migration migration means moving from one place to another place 
and migration i have already told you the de definition but what is the difference between migration and emigration if the question will be asked you have to answer for that that question with the answer like migration is nothing but moving from one place to another within the country that's we call the migration and emigration is nothing but moving from one place to another abroad that's we call the emigration okay that that is the difference between both of them and now um without means um unnecessary wasting the time we will be moving ahead just not being delay push and pull factors what are the push and pull factors push and pull factors are not are nothing but what made the people to move from one place to another and what made the people to go to that place okay to go to, to go to that place and live in that place okay live in another place what made the people push sorry at the very first we have to understand that here pull factor what is the pull factor pull factor is nothing but what made the people um, to means what attracts the people towards it okay which city attracted towards it the people which which made the population um, to drag within it to drag towards it which reason made the people to attract towards it to come towards it okay that is called the pull factor what is the push factors push factor is nothing but pushing the people from one place to another means forcibly <coughs> outcasting the people from one place to another forcibly what made the what is the push push is nothing but moving from this place to another place okay another place another reason push means forcibly outcasting the people okay outcasting means forcibly means voluntarily who push is nothing but moving from this place to another pull means entering okay exiting push is push is nothing but exiting okay you have to keep in your mind that easily you can remember that push is nothing but push is means exit okay and the pull is nothing but enter okay entering exit and enter okay exit and enter you have to keep in your mind ever okay and what are the factors made them sorry these are the factors okay push and pull and factors okay push and pull we have already understood that push is nothing but exit pull is nothing but entering okay but what are the factors made them to push and pull what are those factors we will be understanding understanding in the phase of uh, these are these are all the criteria which i have given on the board um means we will be covering regarding all those okay just for not missing any um information regarding the migration and uh, migration and push and pull factors just uh, of that topic i have given here all these criteria and we have finished now the push and pull factor now and we will be moving ahead with continuing continuing the topic called types of migration what are the types of migrations health health will come health will also come in the infrastructure i will write here quickly infra okay there is a short form of infrastructure here and uh, second one is education education is a big role okay hence i have given that that factor and uh, economy 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 means um, that decides the um, opportunities of employment or opportunities of jobs wide range of opportunities lack of wide range of range of opportunities we will be discussing ahead with the causes okay in the um, phase of causes these are the just types and here detailly or in detail we will be discussing in this phase consequences and causes are both are same in this manner and which are those health we have discussed education we have discussed and we we did know about the economy okay which are those what health what are infrastructure facilities and here we will be taking a and b okay just for instance and just presuming that presuming that this is the a place and this is the b place and a is the village v a w l g village and this is the city here we will be discussing on the factors okay regarding or according to the push and pull factors what are the factors are there the factors are infrastructure infa sorry infa and education edu 
and economy ECO economy now here are these all factors these three factors and um, so many factors are there but just for your confirmation and just for clearing your doubts I have given among them these are the selected infrastructure which are the major one which is the major one infrastructure education and economy all are very um, important for our life and is for infrastructure here in the village this is the push ever the village push the people out okay why that will push just because why that is pushing or why that has been pushing the people out just because there will be so many okay there were so many farmers okay that is another thing we will be discussing here in this phase only about the why the village ever push the people okay why the village ever push the people out out from the village and why that suppress or that will put forcibly an end to the people to move from village to the city why these are the factors okay infrastructure there will be lack of or there are lack of infrastructure facilities that will make the people hmm, push okay that will push the people out and lack of education facilities like the government um, schools government colleges means just because there are no any till now in villages in government sectors in health as well in um, um, what in education sector as well there are no any faculties are available to teach the students hence that made the people to push okay that made the people push out okay education lack of infrastructure facilities infrastructure means um, infrastructure <coughs> is nothing but health included in it and uh, water facilities drainage facilities light facilities electricity all are um, merged in the world infrastructure okay there are uh, okay absolutely absolutely there are lack of infrastructure facilities ever in the villages and till now they are not upgraded okay second one education as i already told you government colleges and schools made the people um, or suppressed the people and made them to push out from the village and those outcast the people out and third one eco economy means job opportunities lack of job opportunities okay there will be so many excess means in a farm there are only five people five labors are required if there are six people um, means working in that farm and one people will lose the um, what his job that's we call the excess excess and unemployment or disguised unemployment okay disguised unemployment just because of the excess he will lose his, his job and he will move towards the city okay here these in village in city these all factors will pull pull the people in okay pull means drag it drags the people it will drag the people within it why the um, good facilities of infrastructure attracts the people towards it and good type of education and quality of education okay quality of education will attract the people towards it and the economy okay means there are so many means um, adequate adequate job facilities or opportunities attract the um, attracts the people okay that's we call the pull factor means ever the city pull the people in it or drag the people in it or snatch the snatch the people in it or catch the people in it ever the village outcast the people from the village why just because of lack the lack of all infrastructure education and economy and here are good facilities of all these factors hence city ever welcome means city ever welcomes the people and uh, this which uh, say the bond voyage okay bond a voyage to or this will wish happy journey to the um, what citizens hence that's we call the migration okay migration means settling down in a complete new city or one place to another moving that's we call migration and settling down there completely with the domestic things with the um, new residential 
absolutely that's we call the migration and push and pull factors we already discussed these are the causes and these are the types okay this is all about the topic migration push and pull factors i think if you understood and uh, if you understood thoroughly and if you find this video informative then only you can subscribe to it and you can share to it you can like to it thank you so much